Hey guys, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, like and subscribe down below. Be sure to turn on your notifications so you can see when I post stuff. Um, and this is my get ready with me video. I filmed it about a week and a half ago, but being the professional that I am, I forgot to film an intro, so I'm doing that now. Um, but yeah, it was really fun to make. I look forward to doing more of these, so uh, stay tuned. I guess we'll just get into it. I'm gonna moisturize again, Mary Kay. It's oil free which is awesome because I have really oily skin. Do a little bit of that. Just smear it all over. Maybe not as aggressively as that though. That was a little much. Since I'm going two-stepping tonight, I'm gonna be getting all hot and sweaty and stuff. I don't want super heavy coverage. So I'm gonna be using the Mary Kay CC cream, which is awesome. It has sunscreen in it. Not that I'm gonna need it because it's gonna be dark out, but I'm gonna use that. Apply that all over my face, kind of the same way that I did my moisturizer. I'm just putting that all over my face. And even with CC cream, it's still important to blend it down onto your neck. Because the last thing we want is like that awful line on your jaw. That's never good. Um, next, I'm going to do a little bit of concealer under my eye. And again, just applying it with my fingers. Concealer has always been fingers. I've never... I've tried like concealer brushes and stuff. I've tried beauty blenders. I just not a fan, personally. Ooh, looking extra glowy. Yep, so we're just gonna blend that in. All right, so we are concealed and CC creamed up. Next, I'm gonna apply some powder. I'm gonna let that bake into the concealer. So we're just going to pat that in there. This is the Ben Nye Luxury Powder. Need to check the color. I believe it's banana. So yeah, I'm just gonna smear the rest of that around. We'll come back to that. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eye. All right, so first one, it's a small eyeshadow brush. Oh, I'm too pale for this. It's a small eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna use that to apply the all over color. I'm trying to do this in my viewfinder so I'm not constantly looking down, but I can't see anything. Then I'm gonna take this little guy. It's kind of a pencil brush sort of a thing. And I'm gonna take a warm brown, but kind of a mid-tone. And I'm just gonna put that all in my crease, focusing mainly on the outer corner. Okay, I'm gonna take this great big fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna use it to blend out any harsh lines up through the lid. Just like that. Next, I'm gonna take a dark coppery color. It's kind of shimmery too. On that same pencil brush, this one. And I'm gonna add that to the outer V. I'm really gonna concentrate on the outer quarter and then a little bit in the crease, about halfway in the crease. I'm really trying to focus it on the outside and kind of darken that up. Again, take the fluffy brush and blend it through the lid so that it's not harsh. Finally, we're gonna take a dark brown, almost black, but still brown, and we're really gonna concentrate that on the very, very outer V, very outer corner, just to really deepen that up. Just like that. Again, Blend it good, because we really don't want any harsh lines with this. Just like that. All right, upper upper lids, yep, and that was the right word, Erica. Upper lids are done. I'm then going to go in and do the underneath. I'm only gonna use this one though, I don't need the other two. So I'm gonna start with that kind of champagne-ish tan shimmery color. I'm just gonna go in there, the inner half to three quarters-ish right in there and then we're gonna add that mid-tone we're gonna meet it up at the upper lid and take it to the middle and then I'm gonna take that um, copper color and I will link the names of the colors down below and finally that dark brown in the very very outer corner all right eyeshadows done I'm gonna go ahead and finish my powder so everything that I'd put down there to kind of bake in, I'm just gonna remove. And add a little bit more powder on the rest of my face to even it out. Just like that. And 
Next is bronzer. I'm gonna take this flat top brush, kind of, I don't know, it's kind of funny. So it's real pigmented, so I'm just gonna, boop. it's gonna go right under my cheekbone a little bit and then up along the side of my face and then in my temples. All right, so that's it for that one. Next, I'm going to take my blush, which is a Mary Kay blush. It is strawberry and cream, or strawberry cream. It's a little old. I'm just gonna add that over top of the bronzer and bring it forward just a little bit further than the bronzer was. Just gonna blend that up like so. Um, so yes, we're gonna do that. Then we are going to highlight. Okay, take this little bitty flat top brush. I'm just gonna tap it in there a little bit. Tap off the excess and it's just gonna go right in there on my cheekbones. Then I take the side of my brush and I go down the bridge of my nose and just right on the very tip, just right there. So I'm gonna take this white in the middle on the brush and I'm gonna do it on my tear duct to really, really brighten it up like that. Now to eyeliner. I don't like standard eyeliner. I feel it's very heavy, so I always just use black eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take a angled brush and some black eyeshadow and I'm just going to line it right in there in my lash line, real close, on the outer half to three quarters. I'm not going all the way in. I'm then going to add a little bit of a wing, not much, just kind of the thought of a wing, just the idea. Like that. Once that's done, I'm gonna take this, wipe it off on my bathrobe again and I am going to do my eyebrows. It is an Inglot Brow Liner Gel um, in 19. So I start on the arch and I take most of the product and I draw it down and then I work my way up to the front. Brows are done. Lastly, I am going to do mascara. So I'm just going to wiggle and roll that's how I do my mascara, is the wiggle and roll method. I've learned that the wiggling helps me get between lashes and then the rolling helps me get real, real close to my waterline. So I just roll it and wiggle it all the way up and it really coats them without clumping them too bad. And then I go back and to make, cause my, my eyelashes are weird. They're blonde at the tips. The base is brown, the tips are blonde. Don't ask me why. My nail lady commented on it, I was like, thanks. Um, so in order for me to actually have the tips of my eyelashes show up, I have to then go on the top and kind of scoop it out. I'm just gonna get the lower lashes. Pop them suckers out real quick. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do my lips and I am using the color Maple by Mary Kay. This is a sad little lipstick. I love the color, my favorite color to wear, but it is a sad little lipstick. Okay, so I always start at the top, make a V. I mean, I probably don't need to tell you how to put on lipstick, but I'm going to anyways. Like so. Ah, you can't even see what I'm doing. The mirror's in the way. All right, and that's how I do my lipstick. Final thing, I always do this whenever I wear lipstick. It's a thumb test. And that's how you keep it from getting on your teeth. So stay tuned, keep watching, and you guys are gonna get to see how I do my hair. All right, we are on to hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it into French braids. It's kind of my go-to. My hair's finally long enough to fit back in it, so I'm re I've really been rocking it the last couple of days. Um, so I'm gonna start off by parting it. Um, so it's just gonna go straight back all the way down. And then from there, I'm just gonna pull it apart. Like so. And I'm gonna start way up here. And I'm gonna start with a little bitty section. And I'm just gonna start French braiding. I will do a more in-depth video on how to French braid. Um, where I'll actually like teach you how to French braid, but for the sake of the video and for the sake of time, this one's gonna be a time lapse. So enjoy my warp speed braiding.
Alright, that's enough of that. Next, outfit. So it's hard to see because I have absolute trash lighting. But this is my outfit. I got it from Old Navy. It's just a little sundress. Front of it. It's nice and high because the thing about two-stepping is that like, there's guys and they're very close and they can see right down your dress. But this, I don't have to worry about. All right, this is my outfit. I don't have a head because I don't have anywhere in my room far enough away to put the camera, so I just had to angle it down. But this is it. I got it at Old Navy. It's great because it twirls, um, which is awesome for two-stepping because there's lots of twirling going on. Spaghetti strap, it's got elastic in the back. So it's super comfy, fits super duper well. It's really, really lightweight, very flowy. And I paired it with my cowboy boots, obviously. I think so back. Cowboy boot. I've got a sweater that I thrifted that I'm just gonna throw on over top of it for Bible study. So yeah, this is what it'll look like for Bible study. Slightly homeless, yet still somewhat fashionable. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm looking forward to doing more videos like this. Hopefully they'll get better though, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, so subscribe, like down below, turn on your notifications. I will link everything down below that I used. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Bye guys. The camera's dying. This, this is my trouble child. This is my problem child. I feel that you were gray and old.